tuangalie scripture katika kitabu cha Mathayo 17 Matthew chapter 17 tuangalie pale Matthew chapter 17 na tuangalie mstari wa 14 nao walipofikia mkutano mtu mmoja akamjia akampigia magoti akisema Bwana umrehemu mwanangu kwa kuwa ana kifafa na kuteswa vibaya maana mara nyingi huanguka motoni na mara nyingi majini nikamleta kwa wanafunzi wako wasiweze kumponya Yesu akajibu akasema enyi kizazi kisichoamini kilicho potoka nitakaa pamoja nanyi hadi lini nitachukuliana nanyi hadi lini muleteni huku kwangu Yesu akamkemea pepo naye akamtoka yule mvulana akapona tangu saa ile kisha wale wanafunzi wakamwendea Yesu kwa faraga wakasema Bona sisi hatukuweza kumtoa huyo pepo haleluya Bona sisi hatukuweza kumtoa Yesu akawaambia kwa sababu ya upungufu wa imani yenu kwa maana amini nawaambia mkiwa na imani kiasi cha punje ya haradali mtauambia mlima huu haleluya mtauambia mlima huu ondoka hapa uende kule nao utaondoka wala halita kuwako neno lisilowezekana kwenu bwana asifiwe sana habari ambayo imejaa na nguvu za bwana asubuhi ya leo neno ambalo limejaa nguvu za bwana wanafunzi wa Yesu wamejipata katika situation ambayo imani yao inakuwa challenged haleluya na the challenge was tough for them kwa sababu kuna mtoto hapa ameletwa mbele zao waweze kumuombea kwa sababu ana pepo hiyo pepo inamweka kwa moto inamtoa kwa moto inamweka kwa maji na ikawa ni shida kubwa sana kwa huyu mtoto naye akaletwa kwa wanafunzi wakajaribu kukemea ile pepo haikutoka mara tu wakiendelea Yesu akatokea praise the name of the lord na yule mtoto akaletwa kwa Yesu i love the genuinity of whoever was in charge of this young man praise the name of the lord kwa sababu walimwambia Yesu <laughs> ya kwamba tulimuleta kwa wanafunzi wako hawakuweza kumponya haleluya they were very genuine we tried before you came we 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 had faith in them that you have entrusted with this assignment but but there is a problem kwa sababu hawageweza ku deal na hii situation kwa hivyo tumekuja kwako kwa sababu tunaamini Yesu alipoangalia akaanalyze kwa nini walishindwa kufukuza yule pepo kwa nini walishindwa kuleta uponyaji akawaambia shida yenu ni moja praise the name of the lord shida yenu ni moja hamuwezi kuamini ya kwamba hilo jambo linawezekana 
Praise the name of the Lord. Yesu akawabia mustali wa ishirini kwa sababu ya upungufu wa imani yenu. Hiyo tu ndio ilikuwa shida. Hallelujah. Kama imani yao ilikuwa imefikia kiwango ama kipimo ambacho Mungu anakitarajia. Yesu alikuwa anatarajia ya kwamba imani yao imefikia kiwango cha wao kuweza kuyatenda yote ambayo iliweza kuja mbele zao. Yesu alitarajia kwamba imani yao ingeweza kukabiliana na ule mlima ambao ulikuja mbele zao kama ugonjwa wa huyo kijana. Hallelujah. Yesu hako ananena kuhusu a physical mountain. Yesu aliliganisha hii hali ya ugonjwa wa huyu kijana kama mlima. Praise the name of the Lord. Na akawaambia jia moja tu ya kuweza kungoa huu mlima ni kuwa na imani ya kutosha. And I came to realize ya kwamba imani is not constant. Hallelujah. Imani ina viwango na kiwango cha imani yako ndicho kitategemea vile utaweza kukabiliana na kila aina ya mlima ambao utakuja mbele zako praise the name of the lord katika dunia hii haya mambo ambayo Yesu anayalinganisha na milima Lazima tutakutana nayo. Amen. Kila asubuhi unapoamka ukiwa katika shughuli zako za siku haya mambo ambayo Yesu anayasema ni milima tutajipata tumekutana nayo. Lakini vile utaweza kukabiliana na ule mlima italingana na kiwango chako cha imani. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna stages tatu za kujenga imani hii ambayo inaweza kukabiliana na milima. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa sababu hiyo ndio desire ya Mungu. Mungu anatamani kiwango chako cha imani kuongezeka. Kwa sababu ya milima ambayo tunakutana nayo kila siku. Ukiona watu wakikwambia nimefika mwisho, sina nguvu tena ya kuendelea na maombi. Sina uwezo tena kuendelea kumtumainia Mungu. Ujue ya kwamba kwa huyo mtu amepitia mambo ambayo yamechallenge imani yake kama vile wanafunzi walikutana na mambo ambayo yalichallenge imani yao. At the end of the day they failed because of the measure of their faith. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus that the measure of your faith shall increase in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the measure of your faith shall increase. By the time you face that mountain, I believe you will have attained the measure of that faith that is desired to move that mountain. Katika jina la Yesu. Mungu wanajua kuna milima kule mbele. Mungu anajua kuna mambo magumu kule mbele. Anakuandalia an atmosphere, an environment ya imani yako kuongezeka. Yesu alikuwa so frustrated because his expectation was not the position of the disciples. Amen. Dio maana anawakemea. Anawakemea. Hallelujah. Matthew, Mark chapter 11. Tunaona another scripture there. Mustalu wa ishirini na tatu. Mariko kumina moja. Amin na waambia. Yeyote atakaye uambia mulima huu. Ngoka. Ukatupwe baharini. Wala asione shaka moyoni mwake. Ila aamini kwamba hayo asemayo ya metukia ya takua yake. Na ninatangaza ya takua yako. 
katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Wewe ambaye una hiyo conviction ndani ya moyo wako, una conviction ndani ya moyo wako ya kwamba hili jambo Mungu analiweza. Hili jambo halitanisumbua tena. Mungu ana uwezo wa kuliondoa yule ambaye ana imani ya kiwango hicho. Hallelujah. Ndiye Mungu anasema ya kwamba akisema hayo mambo yatatokea, yatatendeka na yatakuwa yake. Utakuwa urithi wako katika jina la Yesu. Na mimi naamini katika jina la Yesu, Mungu akupokeze urithi wa imani yako katika jina la Yesu. Mungu akupokeze urithi wa imani yako. Kuna mambo ambayo imani huwa inaridhi. Amen. There are things that your faith can inherit from the world of the unseen. Kwa ile dunia ya mambo yasioonekana. Imani yako ni mkono ambao unapenya praise the name of the Lord katika huo ulimwengu na kunyakua hicho ambacho kisichoonekana na kukileta katika ulimwengu huu wa macho ya kuona haleluya in the physical na hayo mambo yanaanza kuonekana kwa hivyo Yesu anatuhakikishia ya kwamba kuna kiwango cha imani ambacho tunaweza kuwa nacho cha kunenea milima na mambo yaanze kutendeka hiyo milima kuyeyuka Praise the name of the Lord. Hata hapa tunaambiwa ya kwamba tukiwa na imani tuambie milima ingoke na kujitupa baharini. Tukiamini bila kuwa na shaka haya mambo yatatendeka. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you shall have this kind of faith in Jesus mighty name. May you graduate today in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray may you graduate today katika jina la Yesu kama umekwama vile wanafunzi walikwama ninatangaza leo Mungu akukuamue katika jina la Yesu I pray may God intervene in the mighty name of Jesus may God intervene in your life in the mighty name of Jesus kama kuna mambo yamekuchalecha katika maisha yako yamekuwa milima ambayo umekuwa ukiinenea haiondoki I pray may God intervene I pray for you Mungu aingilie Mungu aingilie Mungu aingilie vile alivyohusika kwa hali hii iliyowalemea wanafunzi akaidhihirisha nguvu na uweza ninaomba katika jina la Yesu katika kila hali ya maisha yako ninaomba Mungu aingilie katika jina la Yesu adhihirishe nguvu na uweza wake katika jina la Yesu kitu cha kwanza cha wewe kuweza kupokea imani ya kiwango hiki ni kusikia. Hallelujah. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. Lazima uwe mtu wa kusikia. Amen. Lazima uwe na ability ya kusikia. It is a divine ability. Kuna neno ambalo huwa tunalisikia. Na hata leo I'm speaking out hallelujah but kuweza kusikia ni uwezo tunapokea wa kiungu uwezo wa kiroho praise the name of the lord it's a divine ability to hear is a is a divine ability it's not just naturally kukaa na kusikia pastor peter akile, akileta neno la imani Apana, lazima uwe na uwezo wa undani wa kusikia. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lazima kuwe na implant ndani yako ya hilo neno. Namba 2, baada ya kusikia ni kuamini. Amen. Baada ya kusikia ni kuamini. Yesu anasema ya kwamba Yeyote atakaye amini. Amen. Yeyote atakaye amini. Kuamini ni kuwa convinced, ni kufika level ya conviction. Hallelujah. Hauna hauna doubt, hauna shaka yeyote. 
hauwezi angalia mahali pengine kama Mungu amesema ni hapa kuamini ni kusema ya kwamba hauwezi ondoa macho yako hapo haleluya hata ikae namna gani hata ugoje kwa muda gani hata uletewe kitu kingine macho yako haiwezi toka hapo hiyo ndio kuamini amen hiyo ndio kutokuwa na shaka ni kuchukua vile neno limekuja na kuliamini vile lilivyo haleluya number three, stage ya mwisho ni kunena speaking out haleluya you must have an ability to take action you must have an ability to respond the bible says that faith without action is dead imani isiyo na matendo hiyo ni imani ambayo haina mazao ni imani ambayo imekufa kwa hivyo kuna watu wengi wamefika level ya kusikia wamefika level ya kuamini lakini wamekosa ability ya ku take action leo katika jina la Yesu nimekuja ku activate that ability to take action katika jina la Yesu watu wengine wamefungwa walisikia waliamini lakini wameshindwa kuchukua hatua leo katika jina la Yesu na kunenea uweza wa kiungu wa kuchukua hatua wa kuchukua hatua unajua ni Mungu alisema unaamini hilo neno la Mungu lakini umekwama mahali leo ninatangaza Mungu akukuamue kwa neema ya Mungu natangaza kuamuliwe katika jina la Yesu leo nimekuja kusimama na wewe nimekuja kusimama na wewe hayo mambo ambayo unaamini Mungu anaweza lakini hauwezi haujui itatendeka kwa njia gani may god intervene may god intervene in your life may god intervene in that situation in the mighty name of Jesus may god intervene in the mighty name of Jesus may there be a mobilization may there be a mobilization in the spiritual in the physical katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu nimejua leo ya kwamba kuna wengi wamesikia neno la Mungu kuna wengi wameamini lakini wameshindwa kuchukua hatua leo katika jina la Yesu ninakuombea neema ya kuchukua hatua ability to respond ability to take action ability to move ability to rise up in the mighty name of Jesus Look at this these two situations Situation ya kwanza Yohana na Petero was it John and Peter they met a man the crippled man at the beautiful gate What did they say to the man? Money and silver we do not have, but whatever we have, we give it unto you. Rise up. Ability to take action. They needed an action. We believe it, but we need an action. We have faith. Lakini tunataka action. Yule mzee ambaye alipitishwa kwa kwa paa akaletwa kwa Yesu Yesu alipoangalia imani ya hawa watu waliomleta akaambia yule mjamaa chukua vitu zako wewe simama uende umeponywa the action point the action part of it ya, yani lazima asimame ndio ijulikane ya kwamba imani inafanya kazi hata wewe katika jina la Yesu i thank God because you took the first step because you raised up prepared yourself and went on the mountain that is the first action that you took then there should be another action ya kwamba hilo jambo limetendeka whatever god instructs you to do kutoka kwa humu lima i believe that you shall do it with all the boldness 
katika jina la Yesu hata kama inakaa hakuna jia najua utachukua hatua vile Mungu alimwambia Ibrahimu toka uende Ibrahimu akatoka akaenda hajui anaenda wapi lakini kwa sababu Mungu amesema enda akaenda hiyo ndio hatua ambayo Mungu anataka tuchukue katika jina la Yesu you don't have to bring your thoughts you don't have to bring your reasoning you don't have to do your mathematics hiyo haitafanya kazi hiyo itafanya ubaki hapo Mungu anataka akisema simama uende ukiwa safarini ulizage tunaenda wapi praise the name of the lord ukiwa safarini ujiulize ninaenda wa ninaenda wapi the direction of where you should go itakupata huko barabarani ukienda afadhali uendage Mungu akwambiage na ulipitia jia barabara mbaya lakini provided you, you took your step na ukaanza kuenda praise the name of the lord kuliko ukae hapa unauliza ninaenda wapi mimi ninaamini katika jina la Yesu Mungu anawainua watu kuchukua hatua that is a divine ability of how to respond and i pray may you respond by god's grace in jesus mighty name that is the grace that god is releasing upon our life katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu mama tu kwa miguu yako katika jina la Yesu inua mkono wako mwambie bwana i need this ability i need this ability to take step i need to know how do i respond I need to know which step do I take. Katika jina la Yesu nataka nijue nichukue hatua gani. Nichukue hatua gani Bwana. Nielekeze kwa hatua ambayo ninastahili kuichukua. Mambo imenipata katika ndoa. Mambo imenipata katika jamii. Mambo imenipata kazini. Niwezeshe nijue ninastahili kuchukua hatua gani. Ewe Mungu wa rehema unayewezesha watu kuchukua hatua. Nisaidie nikajue nitachukua hatua gani nisaidie bana nijue nitachukua hatua gani maana lazima nichukue hatua maana lazima nifanye jambo maana ni lazima nifanye jambo katika jina la Yesu nisaidie niweze kujua nisaidie niweze kujua nisaidie niweze kujua nisaidie niweze kujua vile ulikuja kama msaada kwa wanafunzi wako waliposhindwa wewe bana ukakuwa msaada kwao katika jina la Yesu tunaomba bana tukaweze kuwa msaada tunaomba mwana tukaweze kuwa msaada katika jina la Yesu tukaweze kuwa msaada kwa wengi ambao wamelemewa kwa wengi ambao wamefika mwisho kwa wengi ambao hawajui hawana mwelekeo katika jina la Yesu O oh Father, O oh Father God, O oh Father, O oh Father, O oh Father, O oh Baba, O oh Baba, O oh Baba, O oh Baba, tusaidie kuchukua hatua katika jina la Yesu. Inua mkono wako katika jina la Yesu. May there be a release of a divine ability to take action to take the right action in the name of Jesus i pray for an ability to respond an ability to hear an ability to believe an ability to respond to the word of god to the to the instructions of god katika jina la yesu katika jina la yesu may you attain that mountain moving faith katika jina la Yesu ninajua kutoka siku ya leo utaweza kukabiliana na kila milima kwa jia ya imani utaweza kunenea kila milima na itatii katika jina la Yesu hiyo milima itatii natangaza hiyo milima itatii leo hii hiyo milima itatii kila milima umekuja kunenea hapa mespa ninatangaza itatii itasikia sauti yako katika jina la Yesu wewe unayeombea nyumbani wewe unayenyua imani ninakutangazia leo hiyo milima itatii sauti yako katika jina la Yesu thank you for watching this program we believe this prophetic message has transformed your life if you would like to partner with us Please contact us 
on the numbers on your screen.